have a bit of a TPU problem. What's up YouTube, this is Print Practical. I have a ton of TPU filament, but I don't have a great way of storing it in a moisture free environment. So I'm gonna be building a filament storage box today that is sealed and something I can put desiccant in to keep my filaments dry. I do eventually wanna make a nice filament storage box with rollers and bearings. However, I'm in the middle of a project that uses a lot of TPU and I just need a solution in the near term. So I went to Walmart, I picked up this Sterilite container for like eight bucks or something. And it does have a moisture seal on it, which is perfect for this application. I also went to Lowe's, picked up this PVC pipe. It is a inch and a half and it fits perfectly through one of the filament spools. So my idea is that I'm going to cut this to length, 3D print some brackets in this box so that I could drop this PVC down in there and it should hold a few rolls of filament. I also picked up a kit on Amazon with pneumatic fittings so that I can run my Bowden tube straight from my storage container right to the printer. Here's the idea. This container has these two sections here on the side. I'm thinking I'll 3D print a piece that'll go over this. I'll hot glue them in on each side. PVC pipe fits right into those brackets. And then I will mount the pneumatic fittings onto the front of the box here. And we should have a completely sealed container that holds three or more rolls of filament. Ooh, look at them bad boys. One side done. Well, my countertop is off level, but if we compare that to that, it's pretty close. I'd say that's a success. All right, the test fit looks good. Three rolls in there with no problem. I might print out some spacers to stop these spools from rubbing into each other, but overall, fits really well. Close enough, close enough. Editing print practical here, I just watched that. Man, rip me apart in the comments, this is ghetto shit. The filament box is complete. It took about five hours to print all the plastic pieces for this and probably about 10 minutes assembly if I wasn't filming. But if I pop the top here, I got my three rolls of filament. I just printed little spacers that go in between. And then the filament can go into the Bowden tubes. Here, I took a few Bowden tubes, cut a small amount off, and then I burnt the end and clamped it. So that way I have a nice seal in here when I'm not using a particular filament. That's gonna be it for this one. Like I said, this was a quick and dirty project. I will probably make a better filament box with rollers and stuff later on, but I'm printing a lot of TPU now and I really needed this. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, and see you next time.